Hello, I'm Anand Gopalakrishnan. With the checkpoint exam around the corner, let's just take a moment to think about moments and the turning effect of forces, this time on Checkpoint Science Physics. First of all, what is a lever? A lever is a simple machine consisting of a fulcrum or pivot and two arms that helps a person lift an object by giving them a mechanical advantage. It also changes the direction that a force is applied in. Examples of levers include scissors, seesaws, wheelbarrows, etc. Levers have been used since ancient times to make work easier for people. But what are levers made of? Levers consist of a fulcrum and two arms. The force applied to a lever to do the work is called the effort. The force that opposes the effort, resisting movement, is called the load. Levers also act as force multipliers. Thus, a small force acting on one arm transforms into a large force acting on the other arm of the lever. Levers are categorized by the relationship between the fulcrum, effort and load. There are three different classes of levers. First class levers such as seesaws, scissors and pliers. Second class levers such as wheelbarrows and nutcrackers. And third class levers such as tongs and a compass. Now, what are moments? The turning effect of a force around the fulcrum or pivot is called the moment of the force. The direction of the moment is generally specified as clockwise or anti-clockwise about the fulcrum. The equation to calculate the moment of a force is moment of force equals force multiplied by distance from the fulcrum and moments of forces are measured in Newton meters. After observing that on a seesaw, the moment on one arm must equal the moment on the other arm for the seesaw to balance, our good old friend Archimedes came up with the law of moments, also called the principle of moments or the law of the lever. It states that when a body is in equilibrium, the sum of the clockwise moments about a point is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about that point. To understand the law of moments a bit better, let's look at some examples. It's easiest to demonstrate this law with a first class lever, so that's what we'll do. F1, F2 and F3 are the forces exerted by the stones on the seesaw. Since the seesaw is balanced, the law tells us that the moment of the force F3 is equal to the sum of the moments of the forces F1 and F2. Now, let's put some numbers to our example. In this particular case, F1 is 10 newtons and F2 is 20 newtons. The distance of each rock from the fulcrum is given. Here, we can find the force F3 by using moments and the law of moments. First of all, as we saw earlier, the law of moments tells us that the moment of F1 plus the moment of F2 equals the moment of F3. So let's calculate each of those moments now. Don't forget the formula. The moment of a force is equal to the force times the distance from the fulcrum. So the moment of F1 is 10 times 2 which is 20 Newton meters. Similarly, the moment of F2 is 20 times 1.5 which is 30 Newton meters. So using the law of moments again, the moment of F3 is 20 plus 30 which is 50 Newton meters. And now finally we can rearrange our moment formula to find force F3. So force F3 equals 50 divided by 2 which is 25 Newtons and there you have it. Here is the reference material for this video. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe.